Welcome to Spooky TV. So, Boosie has released a song called I Don't Call Phones, I Call Shots, which is a direct response to NBA Youngboy's song I Hate Youngboy, which dissed a variety of artists. You know what I mean? He disrespected uh, himself because <laughs> the song is called I Hate NBA Youngboy. He disrespected Lil Dirk, Lil Dirk's father, Lil Dirk's girlfriend, the persons who collaborated with Lil Dirk, Boosie. Gucci Man, King Von, as well as uh, Apple Music, even huh? a streaming service didn't get spared. So Boosie was basically very close with NBA Youngboy, you know what I mean? And in the song, NBA stated that, hey, don't call my phone. I don't think you like me, so don't call my phone. Apparently, Boosie caught wind of that and he decided to respond huh? with his song. Which I must say, I'm very impressed with, you know what I mean? I think Boosie did a good job. However... Um, as a music critique and as a musician myself, I think Lil Boosie should get a better producer to, to mix his vocals so that it's more audible. You know what I mean? He has a very unique sound. I don't think that the sound needs to be changed. However, he needs a better producer to mix the vocals so it's more audible. So in Boosie's song, he said to NBA young boy, if you felt that way, why you ain't call my phone number? Bitch, you know you're wrong. Clearing all these niggas song. Don't want to clear a nigga song, but faking, faking like you're a nigga dog. That's the fake shit. Don't speak on my name no more. Little nigga, you know I don't go for that. Let's keep it real. You was a hoe for that. So apparently, Little Boosie is mad about NBA Youngboy not clearing his songs. And NBA Youngboy has been releasing songs on a barrage since recently. He has songs with Da Baby. He has an entire project with Quando Rondo. He has an entire project with rich the kid you know what i mean and of course you know he also did the he also released the compilation uh album recently with the entire nba young boy squad so boosie who did his song way before those guys and has been riding with nba young boy for quite some time he is obviously feeling impatient and he's like hey is this some sort of disrespecting you know what i mean i would think the same way you know what i mean if i've been waiting for somebody and i thought i was next up and this person keeps working with other persons their project keeps coming out and mine is not coming out but what i'm also wondering i'm wondering if it's if this is nba young boys doing or this is with a label because boosie is independent and NBA young boy is signed to a label. Sometimes labels might not want to give the clearance for certain projects if they know that they are not benefiting because they are not into music or they are not into a business um, agreement with Boosie. So they might not care whether or not a song is released which will benefit Boosie. You know what I mean? The, the industry is cutthroat like that. So it may not even be NBA young boys doing, you know? But this is a thing that I absolutely i can't get my head around and i can't figure out what's really going on with men in the black community no two men they have a disagreement they, they they have recorded an entire project together you know what i mean why is it so hard for you to call and say hey this is not um working out because of this or vice versa vice versa so you both could find the time to do an entire album together but no in the face of uh adversity you both find it hard to dial each other's number and explain what is going on and if a favorable decision can be made then you make it no you can't do that you know what i mean the best way that you see to resolve this problem is to go on wax and disrespect each other you know what i mean and for, for those who don't know this beef could get potentially violent because if you know boosie's um history boosie is one of those artists that, you know what I mean, he lives a lot of what he sings about. And so does NBA Youngboy, you know what I mean? But the, the thing with both of these artists, they are from the same place. So they are aware of each other's background, each, each other's surrounding, you know what I mean? So they might overlap each other in the streets because they have basically the same audience, you know what I mean? So you don't want something like this to spiral out of control. You want a, a, a situation like this to stay within the confines of the recording studio or the music industry. You don't want this to become a physical feud, you know what I mean? Because we, we already see that the music industry is very toxic right now in the US, you know what I mean? Rap. As a matter of fact, not the entire music industry, but rap. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So you don't want to see two figures like this who are very powerful and basically they, they, they live and share the same environment going against each other. You know what I mean? 
So I would love to see this um situation work out amicably for both artists, you know what I mean? I like this this song personally, I love um this music, you know what I mean? I love war songs, you know what I mean? I, I think artists are more creative whenever they, they go to war, you know what I mean? You get to show your lyrical purse and so forth, you know what I mean? And I like this Boosie song, you know, I played it like three to five times just now, you know what I mean? I haven't done that to a Boosie song in a long time. You know, because there's this gratification, you know what I mean, towards violent lyrics, which we like. You know, we have an affinity for violence as humans, but keep it on the wax. I'm out.